Tom, very sad news today on the passing of your former manager and Celtic's former manager, Wim Janssen. Just give us your, your thoughts and feelings on that news. Yeah, initially, obviously, shock uh, with him. I know he had been uh, going through a, a, an illness, uh, and battling with an illness with uh, dementia, but uh, it doesn't matter. You know, somebody of that stature of, uh, of what he'd done for the club all those years ago, um, it still is a shock when it comes around. He was the first foreign manager in the club's history. Um, since then, there's been obviously quite a few, but what was he like in the dressing room as a manager? Yeah, I, I would say he was a quiet person, very intelligent, uh, very studious in terms of what he wanted uh, from the game, uh, very thoughtful, and uh, he certainly had an eye for a player. Uh, when I, I think that's key. A lot of managers are to asked what bring success to a football club and it's getting better players in but you've got to have that eye for that player and that's certainly something that Vim had if you look at the list and the category of players that, that were brought into this football club at that time And you, just, you talk about the fact that he was an excellent manager but he was also did have an eye for a player and, and some of the players were Henrik Larson, Paul Lambert, Mark Reaper Stephen Mahe, Jonathan Gould and uh, Craig Burley as well so he, he should go down in history as the man that brought Henrik here yeah, that, that just highlights it um, uh, of, of the kind of quality of player that he has. But you look at the, the Paul Lambert, a guy who was had won the European Cup uh, the year before, came to Celtic Football Club after that. Uh, that was stunning and amazing. Um, but all those players that you mentioned there, uh, it's a dream for a manager to have that many players, bringing them in, but also to have the impact they did. Uh, and that's certainly what uh, Vim brought to this football club. A double winning manager, the first trophy came in the, the League Cup against Dundee United at Ibrox and you lifted the trophy that night. What was it like on that on that occasion and for yourself to get that first trophy in the League Cup in 15 years? Yeah, I think a lot of pressure because you look at the start of where we were, we were working completely not ready for a league campaign at the start um, uh, as our first two league games uh, uh, sort of showed. So we yeah we, we got it together and under the, the manager stewardship and obviously the introduction of the players that he identified to bring to come in, uh, we started to get in and I think that was in a culmination when we were start to get uh, clicking and, and uh, certainly the team started to play very well round about that time and resulting in that League Cup victory over at Ibrox and that was great for for everybody uh, you know it helped settle you down. And the bigger picture, obviously, the league, uh, and that gave us the, the impetus that we needed to go on and, uh, and win the league because uh, it may have been different had we not been able to get that victory that, uh, in that League Cup game. And then, of course, he wins the league that year, a, a massive title in our history. And, you know, you can remember the, the smiles on his face when Enrico Anoni lifted him off his feet. There wasn't too many times we've seen too many smiles for that, that, that game and uh, the derby game, but certainly on that, that day, I think you've seen the rock release. But there was obviously, there must have been a lot going on in his mind, uh, I think, at that time, knowing that um, in a couple of days he was going to resign. Um, so, But that was just, I think, you know, a great way for him to leave us, um, uh, you know, obviously winning the league and, and, and the one that was of such importance uh, to us. Um, and, uh, you know, he was he was key to us winning that league that season without any shadow of doubt. He came in and he did what he had to do, got the T-shirt and went back home. And just finally, Tom, Wim Janssen, where does he fit in the big Celtic story? Yeah, but well, he's up there as as I will be remembered as well as being a captain of that team. Vim was the manager of all those players, uh, you know, and uh, I, I will echo that uh, and repeat what I say about you know having an eye and a detail for a player. Uh, some of the players that Vim bought in here were legends, and that says it all. Uh, he came in to do what he had to do. He had a job to do. Uh, he won the league, but he won a cup as well, so he won a double that season. So he came in and done what he had to do.